Hello friends, I welcome you to Video Solutions of JE Main 2019 paper of 10th January evening session. So let's start with very first question. Now this question belongs to section of modern physics and of chapter communication system. The modulation frequency of an AM radio station is 250 kilohertz. So which is 10% of the carrier wave. That means the frequency of carrier wave would be 2500 kilohertz. If another AM station approaches you for license, what broadcast frequency will you allot? As you are well aware of that for frequency of such cases, we have two frequencies allotted. Right? Now in this case, which frequency is being utilized? So if I say carrier frequency is 2500 kilohertz and signal frequency or modulation frequency is 250 kilohertz. What you can do here is just calculate the values which is the frequency is available. So frequency available would be once it is 2500 plus 250 or f dash would be 2500 minus 250 right. So this frequency set is not available for the next broadcast licensing. Which set we can use? So this would be 2750 kilohertz this would be 2250 kilohertz right and an option you will see that this will be cancelled and this will be cancelled so now out of these two some can be the option let's see which we can do here for the next set i'll go for f double dash as frequency of carrier wave plus twice of frequency fm so you will get here as 2500 plus 500 right and this will be 3000 kilohertz which is not there in the option now the other set which can be given is fc minus 2 fm which on calculation would be 2000 kilohertz and yes this option is available there so let's see which is the best answer here option number three is the correct answer to this question right Let's move on to our next question. Now this question belongs to section electromagnetism of chapter magnetism and matter. Now as per the question at some location on earth the horizontal component of earth's magnetic field is this. At this location the magnetic needle's length is 0.12 meter and pole strength is this. This can be utilized to find the magnetic moment which is the length of the magnetic needle into the pole strength. It was suspended through the midpoint and it makes 45 degree with the horizontal in equilibrium position. To keep this needle horizontal, the vertical force that should be applied at one of its end is. So let's have the diagram of this first. So there was a vertical plane in which this magnetic needle is there and the total length would be 0 0.12 meters right now for this magnetic needle i want to apply a force f such that it opposes the torque which is being applied by the vertical component of magnetic field and the torque by this force should be equal in magnitude to that of torque by the magnetic field so let's first find the torque due to the vertical component of magnetic field. At a place it was given that tan delta is equals to BV by BH. In question the horizontal component of magnetic field is given to be this 18 into 10 to the power minus 6 tesla. So this is 18 into 10 to the power minus 6 tesla. And the delta given to us is 45 degree. Then from here you will say tan delta would be equal to 1. So BV would be equal to BH and that would be equal to 18 into 10 to power minus 6 Tesla. Now we have found the vertical component. In order to find the torque by this component you are well aware of this formula as MB. 
right? The maximum torque which can be applied. And what is the magnetic moment? It is pole strength into the length of the magnetic needle into the vertical component's magnetic field. The pole strength, as you can see in the question, was 1.8 ampere meter. So it would be 1.8 into 0.12 into 18 into 10 to power minus 6 Newton meter. This is the torque which is being applied by the magnetic component of that is a vertical component of the magnetic field. Now the same torque should be applied by this force along this center point. So this distance you can see here would be simply 0 0.06 meters. So torque by this force across this point or the pivoted point O would be F into 0 0.06 meter as this is perpendicular, right? So you will write this torque should be equal to 0 0.06. 0, 06 into F. Now equating these two equations, I will get F as 6.5 into 10 to power minus 5 Newton. Right? Let's see which is the best suited option here. Among these four options, you can see answer number 3. So answer to this question would be option 3. Let's move ahead and see our next question. Now, in this question, this belongs to again the section of electromagnetism and belongs to chapter of current electricity. As per the question, there is a Wheatstone bridge which is shown in the figure. The figure is down here. I will show it to you. This gets balanced when carbon resistor used as R1 has the color coding of orange, red and brown. That means I will have to find the resistance of this carbon resistor with the help of the mnemonic formula will explain to you. The resistors R2 and R4 value has been given to us as 80 and 40. Assuming the color code of the carbon resistors gives their accurate values, the color code for the carbon resistor used as R3 would be. So let's see the diagram here. As per the question, this is 80 ohm. This is 40 ohm, right? This is R1, this is R3, both are carbon resistors. For this, the code has been given to us as in the color format of orange, red and brown, right? Now first we have to know what is the value of this R1 and in the balanced state simply the ratio of R1 and R3 should be equal to R2 and R4. So first of all, let's find orange, red, brown, what gives the resistance of R1, orange, red and brown, right? Now let's take this as P this as Q and this as X, then R1 will be represented as P, Q into 10 to power X. P and Q should not be multiplied together. It's a symbolic representation. Now let's find out what would be value of P and Q. So for orange, you can see this beautiful mnemonic that is BB Roy, Great Britain, very good wife. So as far as the solution is concerned, what I will do is the mapping of colors. So here, this is black, brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, gray, white. This is the orange color. That means for P, I will write 3. For red, you will be writing 2. This is 2. And for the brown color, this is the brown color, which is having value as 1. That means it is 320 ohms. Right? Now with he this value you will find that this is 320 ohm and that the balance conditions definitely R1 by R3 should be equal to R2 by R4. Now except R3 we know all the three values you can calculate R3 would be equals to 160 ohm. With this 160 ohm what would be the color? So let's see. Let's write 160 first. That means this can be represented as 16 into 10 to power 1. Now this for R3 1 that means first color would be brown. 6 you can see this is for blue and again 1 that means it is for brown. So as far as 4 options are concerned answer number 4. Option number 4 would be the answer to this question. Let me write that for you. Right. Let's move ahead and see our next question, that is question number 4. 